Hey everyone, welcome to Piccadilly Stamping. I'm Pamela Pick. So today is one of my quickadillies, which means this is one of my shorter videos instead of like my Facebook Lives. Today's project that we're going to be making today is this card. It says enjoy your special day, but this is like the cutest set. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. Let me get my project pack out here. <clears throat> we are... Um, this is made from the stamp set called Stitched All Around, and it has a matching die with it. And it, it's we're going to be using this die right here, which kind of reminds me, it's got stitching on it. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. And then this die, which does not cut all the way through, but it just cuts a pattern into the paper, so that's pretty cool. Um, this can be found page 17 of our catalog. So I'm going to start off with an eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock. This is in the Knight of Navy, and I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half so that it is at four and a quarter card base. All right, then we are using a matte piece of Grapefruit Grove. It is at four by five and a quarter. And then we're going to use a piece of basic gray at three and seven eighths and five and one eighth. Now, what I have done is I went ahead already and I just ran this through the big shot so you can see, you know, some of it was kind of sticking over. I did each edge and then I did it this way also. And what it does, and I'm going to use this matting piece of paper so you can see is if I hold this up close to the camera, I'm hoping maybe I can get that lighting so you can see this. It shows it through. Does that show? Isn't that just a cool effect? So that's where we're going to start right now is I'm going to um, glue this on. So I did have to run it through the big shots twice, but it, it layers up perfectly. And I'm going to layer that onto the Grapefruit Grove piece. One of the things I like about using that green glue is it gives me a minute to kind of line it up. So, there we go. Okay. Now, I am going to be using the gingham ribbon. Now, this is in the Knight of Navy, and it's just, this is like the best quality ribbon. But what I like is it's, like, mailable, and that's in, that's important to me. I like stuff to go to the, through the mail that I don't have to do extra postage on. So, I'm just going to bring this around here, and... I'm going to tie a knot. I'm not the best bow tire, and especially when I'm on camera, so I like to tie a knot sometimes. And I think knots can be just as pretty as, as the um, bow can be. So we'll cut that off. And I'm going to trim this end down also. Okay, great. Now let's go ahead and stick this down to our card base. And center that up also. Okay. There we go. Now we can get ready for our focal point. Now I've pre-cut this out on the big shots and I just love the detailed stitching that it has on there as well as the cutouts. I think that's really pretty. I'm going to use um, the Knight of Navy ink and I've got that already mounted 
on to my block and I'm just gonna line that up really quick with the stamp of my jig ink it up beautiful Okay, I'm going to get some Stampin' Dimensionals here. And I'm going to use four, which might be a little bit of overkill, but I want this baby to stick and go over that ribbon. Always have a little trash can handy for these little pieces otherwise I am not kidding you these things will get stuck like in your clothes and everything okay so then I'm just gonna move that in here Pretty. And then the last thing I'm going to do is we have these metallic pearls. They come in gold and silver, and I'm going to use the silver for this project, but I'm just going to lift a couple and put them right on here. Okay, there you have it. It's quick, easy, beautiful. I may trim those tabs down just a little bit. And um, I just love it, don't you? Tell me what you think. Leave a comment right down here on YouTube, or you can always catch me on my page. Um, I have a Facebook page, Piccadilly Stampin'. Just remember, there's no G on Stampin'. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.